guys, welcome or welcome back. If you don't know who I am, my name is Reese. This is my beauty channel where we come to slay, especially on a budget. <laughs> if you're new, don't forget to hit that red button down below and turn it on your post notifications. So as you can see, I'm rocking this super cute purple skunk stripe look. This hair is brought to you by Beauty Forever Hair Company. So of course, I'm going to show you what's inside this box, how I customize this unit, as well as a reinstall tutorial. So if that is something you're interested in, then definitely keep on watching. Bye. Lacey, do you think you overdid it with our hair? Uh-uh. Nope. I sure don't, because we're going to Beverly Hills. Now, if I'm going to do good at that audition, we got to look like stars. So in this box, I received some Christmas goodies, a wig cap, some hair clips, a head wrap, as well as some eyelashes. This unit is a 26 inch body weight unit. She is 150% density, 13 by four lace frontal unit with a natural looking hairline. And she does have adjustable straps and combs. So we are going to start off with the skunk patch. So what I like to do is part a middle part first to see how I'm going to style this skunk part and then about a inch off to the side I part a side part, separate the frontal from the tracks and just braid that up so that will be the piece I'm going to be bleaching and I do the same at the bottom on the opposite side so like you know how the skunk is like you know one stripe on their whole like body so that's you know the look I'm going for. I'm taking my blonde brilliance powder and 35 volume developer and I'm just gonna go in and bleach that part from the bottom and then finish it off with some bleach and some foil and then I work my way back up to the top part of the skunk stripe. So it's basically, you know, the same effect that I do on all of my skunk stripe tutorials. So I'm definitely going to speed this up because it's very, you know, repetitive. You guys already know how to, you know, bleach hair by now. I hope you know how to bleach hair by now, but make sure every strand is coated and yeah, that's basically it. So now that I finished the bottom portion of the skunk stripe, I'm going to work my way back up to the front. And here I part piece by piece, making sure the each strand is heavily coated in bleach. Don't forget to add bleach to the foil and then top some more bleach on top. This can guarantee that your hair will be evenly coated with bleach and then the foil helps warm up the bleach so it could you know turn faster I let this sit for about an hour So here I'm taking the same exact products I use for the skunk stripe and then I'm mixing those two together. Taking my Adore Rich Eggplant, I'm going to create a nice thick consistency and apply that to the frontal so the knots can bleach. So this is the next day, so day two, and see how much the hair lifted. It's a nice like golden, brown, blondish. So here I'm separating the bleached hair from the unbleached hair, and we're gonna go in and dye this hair purple. So at first I am trying the Kiss Orchard or Orchid. I don't know the word for it, but I have it linked down below. I then go in and try to dye this hair. I noticed that I will have to dye this hair two times um, because the first color did not, you know, turn too well. As you can see, you can still see a little bit of that brown undertone. It's not really like vibrant purple. So, you know, I still continue to dye this hair purple. I let it sit for a few hours. So as you can see, I dyed this hair purple and you can still see a little bit of brown undertone. So I did have to go back and re 
dye this hair so this is day three and this is what the hair looks like it's not purple whatsoever so I'm gonna get my purple rage and put that over the same color and let that sit I literally let this sit overnight just because you know I wanted this hair color to be purple like literally I tried three times to get a skunk stripe purple look and I've always felt it every time like it would turn pink or a red so this time it's gonna be purple as you can see in the beginning okay so let that sit overnight you might have to you know dye it two times so you guys I lost all the footage of me customizing this wig like plucking all of that so I'm gonna show you how I reinstall my wig so I had a really great idea um, because you know I don't show you guys how I take on and off my wigs I only show you how I customize the unit and just put it on never like how to take it off and put it back on you know so I did do the glueless method I did not use glue when applying this unit and this is the hair four days later and it looks good still like I haven't even combed through it nothing and it looks super good still melted without using no glue just only hairspray so here I'm just going to, you know, comb through this hair and show you guys how much hair is lost, which is not a lot. So Beauty Forever sent me a really good unit, okay? So now I'm going to get some water and spray that down. And uh, it's as easy as just getting water, massage it a little bit, and then just start to lift it up slowly. If it gets, you know, if it starts pulling your hair, add some more water, but it shouldn't. Um, it slides right off. And then as you can see, I made a hole in this frontal. It's looking ridiculous. Like this whole week was hard, y'all. And I was able to suck it up and refilm this part. So I'm taking my alcohol wipes. I always, always, always rave about some alcohol wipes, y'all, because you know it helps get the glue off. And then um, yeah, I just flip it back over and I decided to curl this unit off my head before putting it back onto my head and um yeah everything else will be very you know explanatory i'm gonna play you some music because i found this really cool song so i really want to show you guys and yeah i'll let you guys vibe out to the music while i install this unit <laughs>
bitter, I'm better. Period. King Sis always comes through with the hits. Oh my goodness. Yeah, check her out, y'all. But here I am, you know, adding some shine to my unit just so it can look like, you know, I'm fresh out the salon. I love, you know, nice shiny hair. And then here, um, you know, just taking off my elastic band, getting my alcohol wipe and, you know, getting all that, you know, stickiness off. I just use regular even hairspray to apply this unit. It literally lasts maybe three or four days um, doing this method. And I'm glad I did glueless because, you know, if I use regular glue and didn't film it, y'all, y'all would have not seen this video for another couple weeks because yeah <laughs> i would have to rewash this whole wig and then style it you know do all that but this is glueless so if you ever you know want to take off your wig and then reapply it um this is a great method to do this took me less than 30 minutes to do um i love styling it off of my head and then just applying it on my head it makes like the process faster and then the baby hairs was already there i just used a little bit of some gel and just um swooped my baby hairs by using my uh, edge control brush and then finishing off with some gel I put very very little and then I swoop it I don't put too too much and that's basically how I reapply my wigs I think it's super easy to apply reapply wig than to customize it in my opinion because everything's already there um, especially if you invest in a Reese wig by the way this is literally the step you can take to just you know apply an already customized unit and yeah that's basically it look at that look at the scalp you know i'm really actually happy <laughs> of the results it looks even better than i it did like you know the first day i put it on so yeah so as you can see i have two different colors going on two different purples one of them's like from the first color and the other one's from the second coat but this is me on the first day the curls were very very you know voluminous <laughs> thank you so much beauty forever hair company for letting me try out this gorgeous unit don't forget you guys to like comment subscribe and share down below and i'll see you in my next video bye Multiplying, I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen.